Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. You know what time it is. It's coffee with Candace time. I hope you have a really great start to your day and awesome week so far. And I just want to start by saying thank you to everyone who's been liking, commenting, and sharing. I really appreciate it. So let's just get right to it. This week's topic is the elephant in the room, the recession. That's right, the recession. I have this conversation, I swear to you, at least five times a day, and it's a serious conversation where people are fearful, they're scared, they're putting things on hold because they just don't know what, when is the recession coming, what does that mean for them? And it just, it resonates with what happened in 2008 where people lost their jobs, lost their homes. It was such a devastating time. So I would like to just reiterate to you that recession does not equal a housing crisis. Even though that's what we felt in 2008, a recession does not equal a housing crisis. They are predicting that this next recession is going to mimic or mirror more closely the 2001 recession versus 2008. So if you don't remember back in 2001, the stock market fell by 25%. But what happened to the housing market? We actually appreciated by 6%. So again, the definition of a recession is just two negative quarters of uh, GDP growth. So I know that people just naturally have our feelings and our emotions attached to this word because of what happened in our last recession. This recession is not tied closely to that. With this, this is more on the trade war and the stock market. 2008, the two biggest indicators of our recession or the two biggest factors were actually the housing market and the mortgage market. So please, if you have any hesitation, any questions at all, I would love to have this conversation. Right now is actually one of the best times to buy or sell. We've got low interest rates, we've got appreciation. Most people who have owned their homes for at least since 2010 or even in the last two years, you've seen appreciation, so you've got equity in your home. Most buyers are able to qualify with really great low rates and there's more inventory in the market to choose from. So right now is a really positive time. Does it mean that it's right for you to buy or sell? Not necessarily, you need to have that conversation, but do not be fearful. Do not let the media and the news and all of these fear tactics get in the way of you making a move for your best interest and for your financial wealth and growth. So that's what I'm here for. Hopefully that helps. Let's have this conversation one-on-one. -on -one. I love it. I'm here, Vanderbilt Realty Solutions. I'm here moving you forward. Let's talk soon, bye.